grow mostly a lot of cereals, oats, barley, uh, a little bit of barley, wheat, uh, and canola or primary crops. We have Topcon in uh, right now in our Massey Ferguson windrowers and our vent two-wheel drive tractors here. On our swathers, we use auto steer to uh, ensure we're getting a full 36 foot cut each time. Keeps the swath even, full, maintains, keeps the mixed combines do a better job, keeps them full and uh, ensures everything feeds even. On our tractors, we're using auto steering uh, primarily just for pulling implements such as this harrow bar and uh, seeding. I've been running Topcon X15, X20s, and now X30s for probably 10 to 12 years. The X20 I ran a lot of times with the Burgo air seeder and on a lot of different tractors with uh, my guidance and my mapping and my seeder monitor. I now I'm running uh, X30 with the Burgo 7950. And I'm running variable rate and mapping. I guess I've always liked the top on product in the, in the X20, the user friendliness, and the X30, as far as loading the different files and different things, I think they're very uh, simple to do. And uh, the new X30, I like the bigger screen. I like the software for the air seeder on the screen. As far as efficiency, I think that uh, I could never drive that straight and I like the, the efficiency of being able to run a full 60 feet. Oh God, has been very good to us. Ah, it's just keeping us on a straight and narrow, I guess, all the time. Less overlap. I guess that's the biggest thing for us. Easy to operate. Steer is very good. Yeah, farm about uh, 6,000 acres. They grow wheat, soft wheat, spring wheat, barley, oats, canola, peas, both yellow and green, some flax, and tried a little bit of soybeans now so far. I got uh, GPS and most of my tractors. Spraying, we have the auto sectional control, and auto rate control on it uh, for nitrogen application and hydrous ammonia. We're using the auto rate control plus the, the auto guidance steering systems. The auto steer is uh, eliminating some overlap for us and uh, a lot more ease on the operators. They can watch the monitors more closely on the tractors. I guess the auto sectional control the sprayer saves us a lot of chemical costs. And the seeder, they're using the variable rate with the seed and the dry fertilizer. I believe with the variable rate control systems, uh, we're saving probably about 10% or so on our input cost, uh, seed fertilizer, resulting in cost savings to us. and. Uh, seems to be improved yields.